At first glance, you wouldn't think this grand Greek Revival structure had anything to do with water. But for over 150 years, pumping station number one has been part of Louisville water. First in 1860 for the original waterworks, and today a National Historic Landmark and a community destination. I want to welcome everybody, say thanks for being here today. Restoring the interior of the pumping station was a 12-month project that uncovered layers of history along the way. The project began by taking the building down to its original interior shell. Floors, walls, closets, and fixtures, anything added since the 1930s was removed. Crews spent months removing layer after layer of paint, over 50 layers in some places on the walls and windows. Here in the center gallery, the large open space in 1860 was for two massive Cornish steam engines. Their engine beams rose to the top of the gallery. The wooden spindles on the railing have been cleaned and painted. Part of the engines went 30 feet below the building and under the main floor, where we found a manhole to access the cistern for the cataract of the steam engines. At the bottom of the hole, old tools just thrown away from the early 1900s. And look up in the gallery. The centerpiece of the original ceiling is still in place and restored. In fact, much of the material in this building, primarily wood, is in excellent condition. Back in 1858, local labor built this facility and Louisville Water spent $6,200 just on the wood. This spiral staircase was used to access the second level of the pump station we found layers of green, red, and white paint on the stairs. The rails of the staircase, originally brass, are back to their original beautiful condition. The east and west wings, which house the boilers for the engines, include brick walls. There are over 1.1 million bricks in this building, and layers of paint were removed from the bricks before a coat of new paint was added. Tucked in one of the brick walls in the east wing, we found part of the connection to the boilers for the steam engines. Eight months into the project, work was well underway for pumping station number one's new chapter, the Waterworks Museum. The founders of Louisville Water were meticulous in preserving the company's history. The stories, memorabilia, and pieces of the original waterworks are on display. The museum explores the innovation that has provided the city with safe, high-quality drinking water for over 150 years. In the East Wing, there's a restored entrance to the building, restrooms, a catering kitchen, and a small gift shop. Underneath the East Wing, we found the floor extended eight feet underground, three feet thick with concrete. It's an air shaft for an old Worthington pump and some leftover graffiti on the wall. The original waterworks are really a testament to innovation. The architecture for a pumping station and water tower is something to marvel. Theodore Scouten, who designed the waterworks, called this building grand and superior to any other waterworks in the country. Now, 12 months of work have restored pumping station number one to a site that fits Scouten's grand vision.